bro i'm an international student i just came to canada for studies i love real estate but i don't know where to start i don't know what to do if that's your concern then this video is an answer for you namaskar welcome back to another video this is aditi soma i'm a real estate investor and real estate agent here in windsor ontario and i used real estate as a vehicle to achieve financial freedom and here i'm not going to talk about me i'm going to see how i can help you right especially if you're an international student i have another student here <laughs> currently as well right yep how long you been in canada i've been in canada for about four months four months so new in new to canada still a student and doing something great in real estate so stick till the end also if we haven't covered something let us know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button and the subscribe so let's dive into this bro so who are you what's your name where are you from so i am basically from bangalore india mm -hmm. my name is sahas and i come from a doctor background because my father is a doctor <laughs> how come you're not a doctor uh, studies was never my thing so <laughs> <laughs> so during covid i was you know always on my you know social media instagram youtube uh, one concept that really caught my attention was the burst strategy and that's when i saw aditya's one of his very first videos <laughs> and you know that caught my attention and i've seen how real estate has helped my family grow financially mm -hmm. and i didn't want to do the same thing in india so i chose canada so that i can pursue my real estate journey in another country so what do you mean your family in india so what what does your family do in india so like i said my dad is a doctor but we also do construction okay on the side not too much but couple of buildings here and there mm -hmm. so till 2014 our family was not in the best financial state mm -hmm. but after the first construction i just saw there was a huge difference you know while your dad was already doing real mm -hmm. estate in, in in india why didn't you just join the family business why did you chose to come to canada because now you have to start all over so me and my dad just have very different ideologies mm -hmm. he is more about going safe slow taking it one step at a time yeah but i just don't agree with that so i wanted to do this on my own mm -hmm. and that's the only reason i'm in canada so what are you doing now so right now i am the leasing agent of win city real estate team <laughs> and that was uh, i'm very grateful for that because i used to see aditya back in 2019 2018 when he started off his journey he was still a newbie yeah and i really liked him i like the way he thinks and i would i always wanted to work with you so and to actually be able to work with you now it's uh, just feels so good no i mean you know it's always uh both ways right like yeah. the right energy but uh how did we met you know i i, I can say some things I'll, I'll add on later mm -hmm. why i chose to take you on to the team but um you know how tell us because you know for many people who wants to get get to me or people like me who are doing well in real estate you know they're in toronto they know some mm -hmm. people who are doing well they want to get in there but what you did something you know different from many people i get a lot of dms right aditi i want to work for you that's it a lot of my friends actually forced me to go do another job Mm. A job that is not going to help me is probably just going to make me some pocket money mm -hmm. for now. No use for my career at all. Okay. Go work in McDonald's, Walmart. So I, I was okay with going two to three months without having a job, but I wanted the right job for me because mm. I didn't want to waste one year in the wrong job. Man, that's so, that's a very forward thinking. I wish I I thought uh, at that age yeah. in that way because three months. Savings is like not that crazy, especially mm -hmm. we already come with like what 15 lakhs, 20 lakhs. Yeah. Another three months is another two, three lakhs. Yes, it's a hard like you know I come I come from a completely different background. Mm -hmm. you no know, money. I bought my dad borrowed every penny for two person. But mm -hmm. I wish if I had the same mindset, I would have been even more you know in a better position quicker. But I love that. So continue. I remember that Aditya used to have these freedom investor meetups, mm -hmm. and I did miss the previous one because I wasn't in Canada yet. Mm -hmm. And uh, on his story, I went and on his link in his bio, you usually have the Eventbrite yeah. link. And I clicked on it and I did see that you have an event coming soon. And I think it was about 50 or $60. And I bought it. Yeah. But it's, it's $50 is too much money, bro. It is a lot of money. But right now it's making me about easily <laughs> a lot more than the $50 that I spent yeah. on just meeting you. So my so if you want to do something, just go for these networking events where you meet like-minded people. 
So I've always heard that when you surround yourself with people who think like you, yeah. want to be like you, you know, it's going to help you. It's going to set yeah. you in the right direction. So and what happened after is also very important. You know, people, students especially, yeah. they need to know. So what happened after at the event? What happened? So at the event, you know, I met Aditya, I met Aryan, and as soon as I told them that I'm a student, they were shocked because I think for them. <laughs> Seeing a student there was uh, not not a very common sight. Yeah, and that too, like new. Yeah, I was that was my first month yeah. in Canada. So mm -hmm. I, I met a lot of people there. I met mortgage agents, realtors, con contractors. Yeah, and you know, I was I was sitting first bench. I never sit in the first bench. Yeah, <laughs> that day I was sitting in front <laughs> just to listen to you know what you're saying. Yeah, I mean. The meetup was more about the winter market, yeah. which at that point of time was not, it's not, not going to help me. But for me, just being there with you guys yeah. was what mattered. And I remember I stayed till the very end, till all of us left. Yeah, well, that's the key. And I'm going to pause you here because this is one thing you can learn. If you want something badly enough, don't curse. If someone did, did not respond to you, look, they're super busy. Especially if you're talking to someone who is, you know, crushing in the game, who is busy, you want to get to them. You gotta work hard. You gotta do something that is, you know, not many people are willing to do. You spent that fifty dollars. You came for the dinner. You met people. You were talking. You were showing your energy mm -hmm. all the way till the end. And I didn't take you at that time. Yeah. And yeah. still, this is like fast forward. You just joined like what one week ago? Yeah, one week. So ago. this is like after three months. So uh, in this period, I know you have done a lot more things uh, that I want to get on to. But before, this is my session for you guys. Like one from your story. Um, have a vision like you know if you really want to get into real estate just e even if you have to take up a side gig for like you know two hours three mm -hmm. hours a part-time job just to pay your expenses do that but don't lose the focus just exactly. because of someone else telling you yeah. someone else telling you that this is not doable or this guy's never respond no you never tried in the right way you know so, uh, and then you got a job too, yeah. not with Win City. you got another job yeah. so how did you get this job what did you do so a lot of people ask me, how do you get, I got two jobs. So I just went on Google, searched for all the property management companies. Mm -hmm. I made a cover letter, very simple cover letter that you can use chat GPT, whatever you want. Yeah, chat GPT, that's Don't cool copy thing. paste the exact thing, but you just make some changes to it. Personalize it. And I just sent it out like a mass mail, mass mm -hmm. email to I think 15 to 20 companies. Yeah. I had two interviews, one I didn't get through. One I did, so I started working from the very next day. The only requirement was that I needed to have my license. Yeah. So I told her, give me two weeks, I'll go get my license and be back. <laughs> so I went, got my license and I went back to her in two weeks and I started working the very next day. Go get her mindset, right? Like that's a very, very yeah. important, like he didn't have a license. <laughs> you you had to get your license, what? You have to spend money to the test drive, you, you, to, to yeah, I, train and you have to you have to have a prior experience to get it in two weeks. Yes. So that's not easy. But if you have that prior experience and if you get it, like now you did what she wanted. Exactly. Like what, what the person who is hiring you, mm -hmm. whatever they ask you, you're, you did, instead of like saying, hey, I need my, I need job, please give me, please help me. No, you said like, okay, here is my portfolio. Mm -hmm. Here's how I can help you. So what's this leasing job? Like what's uh, why you chose leasing? So leasing, there's no particular reason as to why I chose leasing for me. It's very similar to real estate. In real estate, they buy and they sell. Here, I just rent it out and I manage. Leasing is a very, very, very good place to start, especially if you're a yeah. student. You already know a lot of students coming in. Exactly. You're on social media already. So that means finding a tenant is not that hard. It's not. And now you're building people skills. And exactly. someone training you. Right, someone teaching you. Yeah, you joined a company, so now they're gonna tell, oh, don't do this, exactly, or do this. Here is how you have to schedule your calendar. Here is how you gotta show up yourself. So many things you're learning there. Exactly. So and also you're earning too, right? Yeah. yeah. How much was your salary? Well, um, I was on minimum wage, according to number of hours, but I also got paid for my fuel around three hundred dollars a month, yeah. and I also got commissions that is. Uh, so that's another cool thing like you're getting some bonuses yeah. because you know leasing same thing with the city. you exactly. get bonuses exactly plus you have a base salary base salary is not you know it's a standard salary fifteen dollars per hour which will, yeah. which will pay all your bills but cool thing is it's setting up you for future success exactly you're with the real estate team 
you're learning the terminologies you're learning the city you're learning you know all the traits that you need in this time period and also one more thing that mm -hmm. you did you were working at this place that was going well yep how did you get to me so <laughs> when i met aditi at the first meetup he saw me you know like this because <laughs> i went with a black polo t-shirt <laughs> rolled up my sleeves <laughs> and he was like bro i like your body can you train me and uh, i was like of course i can train you because i wanted a mentor in real estate he wanted a trainer in the gym so yeah. i was like give and take yeah so i offered to train him at his convenience either at his house or in the gym yeah at whatever time during the day and i, I remember like even at that time we, our yeah. plan was to do workout yeah. in this gym uh, this is the area where we are shooting so this is my garage um, then i said you know can you come down like at this time or you mm -hmm. know he's like nope i'll come down anytime you tell me i'll be there yeah and i i love that because you know now i personal trainer who can make it at my time is more important for me exactly so you're giving me what i want exactly so that's the relation how started right like so you've been training me what like now one month one month yeah. the only reason i chose windsor as a city to do my masters is for real estate so i've seen my dad struggle a lot for money in the early stages so first my goal is to retire him before i retire myself i do see myself in a very big house like a mansion mm -hmm. i love cards i really love cards what's your favorite one so now my favorite one is the lamborghini aventador Lamborghini. Yeah, Lamborghini. if you do see my suitcase, there's always a red color Aventador in my suitcase. I think you saw that when we yeah. went to Toronto. It was still in my suitcase. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so the toy is always with me. So yeah. If you don't know where you're going towards, obviously you'll be lost. Obviously you'll be looking for those you know side jobs mm -hmm. that doesn't mean anything for you. And you know I'm really excited how many leases we can do for the t for Win City yeah. and also not only that, future real estate agent, future business and what you're up to to. you know help win city and mm -hmm. also help yourself to grow to make all your dreams happen i see those things will mm -hmm. happen no question uh, with, the, with the energy you are taking in but for students who are watching this what is your one word advice that you can give after all these things so you know i see a lot of students trying to do any job that they can get mm -hmm. and you know when i went to pick up a friend from the airport i told her as well i was like if you can actually just take off one month or one and a half month just to build a proper resume build a proper cover letter and apply for the job that is going to help you so you might earn a little lesser in the beginning but it's it's okay yeah because you're gaining the skills exactly so and the skills the personality that you're gaining will mm -hmm. help you exactly more. it's i love that man i i wish i have that uh, personality or that uh, mindset when i started as a student mm -hmm. and now you guys know it so any more questions any any other topics that you want us to make let us know in the comments below any final thoughts no and no. if you want to lease with ease contact me <laughs> i love that bro <laughs> good job so see you guys in the next videos